straight right into this all right so it's gonna be very general i'm gonna go ahead and pull um some cards here and see what's going on okay so occult first card out we have the occult esoteric sciences etc let's see why do we actually have that okay so new dating and single so when are you guys so you guys may be single okay or you could be newly dating okay Ooh, we have deep the card deep here let's get nine cards let's see what's going on so man to man what we have domestic violence um okay this is some scary shit okay uh got a promotion come around because of your glow up Okay, so Aquarius, let's go ahead and run this through the mill. So for some of you guys here, you could definitely be like single or newly dating or decided you want to date here. Or maybe you've either been single or been single for a while. Also, for some of you guys, you could have possibly got a promotion at work here. Or you're going to have one. Or maybe this could be a promotion regarding your spiritual ranking. Or like, you know, if you are in a cult, this could be definitely be regarding your spiritual ranking. Like, you know, or how good you are. You could have went from like an amateur to a novice, a novice to advanced or advanced to an apprentice, apprentice to, to like, you know, whatever level. But we do have Sweet Life playing by Frank Ocean. So you could be in this energy where you're like in this little Sweet Life type of vibe. Okay. And ciao. Um, wow, you have all this promotion and shit like that going on. I feel like, like I said, you're newly single. Or maybe you could be single now and you want to newly date. Okay, but I feel like three of pentacles. You could be trying to get out, mingle, trying to meet people and stuff like that. But you're being the you're being given the okay to do that. Okay. Hold on, y'all. That was confirmation there when y'all heard my little thing go ding. Okay, but what's going on is that I feel like the nine of cups reverse. Hmm. You could be dissatisfied with the people that you're meeting here, or the person you were with with the lover's card here, or people that you're trying to collaborate with, or people who are trying to collaborate with you. But what's going on here, um, this will be really weird, y'all. But so I feel like you may be looking for like a deep connection with somebody who's intellectual here. All right, with the strength card, the five of wands. With the seven of wands. I feel like you could be crossing your T's, dotting your eyes, or you could definitely um, you know, just be more worried about your finances or you know what's going on with you. And what's going on is that you could be possibly going through like a full blown glow up, right? You could be going through a full blown glow up and somebody here, I'm getting man to man. So let's say you're 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 dating new people here. There could be somebody from your past here, or somebody who think they own you or think that they that you belong to them or something like that or obsessed with you or something like that a person could possibly be a leo or a fire sign specifically you could possibly have um you could be like an aquarius with either um with like gemini in your chart or something like that or maybe libra aries in your chart but this person is is going to find out you're dealing with somebody else yeah, the Hierophant card here. This person could also be like a Taurus. Yeah. This is really weird because it's like somebody's going to try to come man to man to like somebody you're dating. So like I said, you could be newly single, newly divorced or whatever this is. But yeah, I feel like whoever this person is, they're not really a real man or, or not really a real masculine this person could be like a beta male or like a, 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 a doppelganger or a prototype or something like that. But whoever this person is this person was, is going to try to confront like your new man or with the ace of wands either confront your new man or confront somebody you're newly dealing with or dating but i feel like ace of wands because they see that you guys are happy together or somehow some way you're having a good time or um for some of you guys it's very specific about 10 percent of you guys you could be out and about or you're not watching your back or your background or you can be like in your neck of the woods or in your neighborhood and casually this person's either watching you or they pop up on you while you guys are out or doing something here and they want to come to this person man to man or maybe even dm them okay but yeah, three of swords. I feel like this person's heart is broken here. They feel some type of way because I feel like you glowed up. All right, you know, fight with the eight of, eight of wands. You ain't called. I'm hearing you ain't linked nobody. You ain't called nobody. You ain't said nothing. Like this person see your will is turning in your favor, but I feel like it's an issue. It's an issue for them. Ten of wands. 
and the ten of swords because i feel like now their whole life is spiraling here or they could be going through this spiral thing where they realize that you've glowed up and there's nowhere going back or they can't treat you how they used to treat you or ten of wands like you've dumped their stress their baggage their bullshit or maybe if you were living with this person you may not even put their fucking clothes outside or any type of remnants of things they gave you whatever it is you just dumped and cleared their energy or cleared their belongings out of your space um I don't know I'm hearing that song and it goes like na 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 and it's and it says like um I thought she was something something so now I start loving someone else somebody other than you and it and it says I know that it hurts I know it, it hurts your pride okay this person is pride is definitely uh broke down and i feel like also this person could have possibly either cheated here or if you left this person they could have thought they could have lived without you or they thought the grass was on the green on the other side but it, it it wasn't like i said this person you're no longer stressed about them i'm hearing that song just leaving it all behind no tears um i forgot who that song everybody's living it up like i said you could be in a club or having a good time like that y'all like that y'all and it's just like that like so what like a motherfucker pull up on you like yeah so what whatever it is but i feel like they try to treat you crazy this is somebody here who is like a they're like they're a lion but they really a scary cat this person could like have a big ego or like this is one of them men who they can run up on females all day talk shit on females all day do domestic violence shit all day or try to get crazy but when they come to like a different man and they have to go man to man with somebody they be like scary or they don't want no problems like oh bro i need like that bro like hey let me talk to you over here for the side like it's somebody like that like it's actually really funny <laughs> it's funny because it's like whoever this person is that you're you haven't fucked with or you're not dealing with them or you cut them off or you divorced them or whatever the fuck that you did here yeah stay out the mystic watch your love life you could definitely stay out the mystic here and you wasn't really like worried about nothing really really going on and you're like man fuck all that shit i know i'm gonna get somebody else and you did yeah spur the armor i feel like maybe you have a gun here you may need to stay strapped up here or you know um stay safe maybe get you like some mace or a taser or something like that like yeah this person it's like yeah but I feel like you may have took all the money with you, took the house, took the car with you here, or somehow, some way, this person is like, nothing can make this person crumble. But I feel like you are this person's weakness or like Achilles heel, and you got this person crumbling like a motherfucking statue in the rain, okay? Um, it could definitely be like a fire sign or an earth sign, okay? But then we got a party next door playing, y'all. Then my light and stuff start going on. Like I said, you don't turn this person's lights off. Like, you know how somebody turns somebody's power bill off? And they ain't pay their bills, something like that. Yeah, you didn't turn this this person bill off. You didn't turn the, the, the lights off in their world. Okay, but like I said, crystal ball. This is going to happen in the future. Okay, but this person, like I said, is spirit of the black rose. This person also thought they was uh, getting revenge on you here. Or they think that you're getting revenge on them when you clearly are just looking for somebody else. You're clearly like, you know, um, getting on your faded path here, looking for unconditional love or whatever. But I thought this person also has people um, watching your every move. Or trying to figure out what's up with you. Like, you know, let's say you go to, like, a club or you go somewhere or you in your neck of the woods. And let's say you go to that, I don't know, that thrift store, that corner store, that club, that Walmart or something. And motherfuckers like, yeah, I seen them. And they was out with this man. And, or they was out with whoever the fuck or somebody. I ain't never seen them. And it could be, like, somebody messy who, like, worked there. Or, oh, hey, they run up on them, run up on you. Like, hey, I didn't know you was here. Or some a weird-ass bullshit like that. But yeah, this person gonna try to run up on this this new dude or somebody new that you out thinking they a punk or something like that, and they the ones who gonna get punked out. Yep, but they feel like they feel some type of way because of your glow up. Yeah. <sighs> but like I said, this person could have definitely um. Yeah, what is it? Seven of Swords. This person could possibly could have um. Like, this is somebody who has, like, domestic violence traits or they see their parents, like, fight a lot or something like that. And they, they, they like to put their hands on you or smash things around you or hit the wall or throw things around, do all that weird shit. But it's like they hide it so well. But it's like another man can peep another man, if that makes sense. But I thought the nine of wands, this person is weak as fuck. Like, this motherfucker is all that bark. It's like a chihuahua-ass motherfucker, okay? All that bark, no bite. And it's like... This person may have scared you before, or they think that they're scaring you, but I feel like this person is really just having a rain cloud over their head, and they feel some type of way, they need somebody to take it out on, but they don't realize that they done found the right one. Yeah, the Ace of, the Ace of Pentacles. 
yeah knight of cups like i said this person whoever this is you're courting or is courting you or you may be dating or seeing even since it's like the first date this person may like be doing stuff for you here trying to like be romantic or you know somehow do like reservations somewhere or somehow some way they're doing something nice for you that this motherfucker other motherfucker has never done or is not gonna do and i feel like you being in the king of swords you're being very logical you know you're just cool and doing your thing you're not really in a mental prison. You're kind of just vibing. The person wants you in a mental prison here, but, you know, they're the real ones in a mental prison. The person's definitely a fire sign or earth sign. There's a king of wands right here. Like I said, their whole world is crumbling down because of this one decision you made or this you're going to make, okay? Um, oh, child, this is ghetto. But I feel like whoever this person is, they think they finna pull up on them and, 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 and um, punch them out or try to rough them up or something like that. They think, like, you know... They're only doing all this because they really want to make amends with you or they really want to be cool or get back in your good graces. But it's like, you have stripped yourself. You have cleansed yourself. Not only you, but your ancestors. Or this is what you could be working on. Maybe you took a spiritual bath or a black walnut bath or something like that. Okay? Yeah, and you loving it up. Like I said, you, you just chose to level up and you're doing your glow up here. And that's just period. Mm -mm -mm. And then there's also what's going on here. This person is used to dealing with people who are non-committal, like little side bitches or bitches who don't want commitment or like bitches who, you know, don't want shit going on. But I feel like you are stable. You're 11, 11 on time step. You could be stable. You have your own money, your own business. Maybe you got a car, a house. You got something going on where you don't need a motherfucker for nothing. I'm hearing no scrubs. This person's a scrub. But I feel like they deal with a lot of succubus people or people who like seduce and manipulate the male gender or people who use them and they like to be used or something like that or people who like manipulate them into thinking like i don't know to be in their puppet but like i said single bachelor this motherfucker want to act like this person is burnt out i'm getting they don't want to play no more you didn't threw the fire back they want to play fire with fire but now they didn't got burnt out now they got tired here they looking stupid and now they want to make a u-turn here but it's like if you do go back to this person or you deal with them again they will purposely cause revenge or wreak revenge and havoc on you like that's their plan because you broke their heart you gonna break their heart when they see you out with this person if they gonna see you out they're gonna see you posted up on a picture somehow some way like but i feel like this is gonna be face to face okay because person is still trying to figure out what you're doing they also smoke a lot but shit what is the shady female they think you a shady female or shady broad or something like that that's funny <sighs> but whoever this man is that you're dealing with or you may be out with or they figure out like i said this person treats you like an empress like a queen like a dream and with the full card and the hangman like this person is not trying to get caught up in no type of bullshit or i feel like you know this somebody who you know people the men to be so strong they can pick somebody up and put them against the wall like nigga you tweaking out like like on a cartoon or something like yeah this person could be strong like that or they have no problem roughing somebody up like even if y'all just friends or um they might not be dating but you know it may seem that way okay but like i said this person here i'm getting this new beginning makes you happy or they they kicking it they cooling this person could also be like a pisces here does not have to be could be like a pisces somebody could be like a pisces or like this person could be like really dreamy here or you could be the girl they dream somebody way like rod wave but like I said, this person is dreaming if they think that they really finna come and rough this person up. Like, don't get me wrong. Also, this could be, like, just what this person is. could be, like, one of them fashion god niggas. One of them niggas who, like, be having, like, all, like, the fashion god. Or, like, they could be overly feminine or, like, really flamboyant. Wear a lot of jewelry. Or could just be, who, who could dress, like, real nice and be, like, a ladies man. Something like that. Like they, but they can get their hands dirty if they need to. Like, it's something like that. Oh, child. But, like I said, whoever this man is, yeah, they're an emperor. You're an empress and they're an emperor. Like... That's just period. But I feel like the two of wands here, this person's like, do I need to handle the situation? Whoever this person is, they're like, uh, hey, man, the Hierophant card. Yeah, the ancestors is like, look, Queen of Swords, you're in good hands here. Everything is cool. It's balanced stop. We're making sure in case something do happen with the judgment card. The person's going to get karma, but more importantly, they're going to be embarrassed. Yeah. This is funny. Because whoever this, this man is who want to do all this man-to-man -man bullshit, like I said, morality under question. This person's morals are fucked up here. This person, like, whatever they think is right or morally sane or whatever, like, their judgment is all the way off. Like, this person has a weird-ass judgment. Um, but they also may be trying to buy you, like, gifts or whoever this person is. They could, like, buy you gifts or buy you something expensive or whatever. Or they may realize, like, damn, somebody's really, like, doing all this stuff for them. Let me try to buy them a gift, um, a weak-ass gift just to reel you back in or something. Just be aware of that. <laughs> yeah to make up with you like yeah i'm pulling these cards like that's so funny yeah and it's a surprise gift too oh child 
It's just giving like two could play that game, but they don't want to play no more. They don't want to play. They don't want to play. I feel like you're done playing with them. They're a scrub. Yeah, what is it? Hired to kill you. So far gone. I feel like also, if you don't go bad with this person, they may try to like hire like a hitman. Like, or somebody here is like, if I can't have you, nobody can have you. Like, yeah, this person is retarded as fuck. Like, I'm not even going to say retarded. I didn't mean to say it. This person is definitely like mentally ill. Okay, this person like mentally ill or somehow they're insane in the membrane. Okay. Oh, child. But it's like, if, if this little revenge plan does not work of them, like, buying you gifts and, like, oh, let me talk to you for a second. Like, oh, this is what you're doing now. Like, they may try to make a scene in public or um, either they're going to make a scene in public here. Or they may, like, try to blow up your phone or show up to your house later on that day or something like that. Or wait outside your house until, like, bro drop you off or somebody walk you up or something like that. Child, this is actually really funny. It's really funny get a love angel card yeah release your ex i feel like you released this person and you're engaging with somebody else okay or you're going out with somebody else and this person is going to faint i heard that song step in the name of love like i said you were separated from this person because you feel like it was unrequited okay but this person they don't feel that way unless somebody who likes to control you or just wants control over you or something like that yeah I just got an email. Maybe a person might even email you here. I don't know what the fuck my man is talking about. But anyways, yeah, that's what's going on. But like I said, this person may want to like get married or whatever. But at the same time, this person is just doing all this stuff. Just because, because like I said, this person may also have recently lost a friend here. Or I'm getting like when they lost you, they lost a friend too. Yeah, that's what they could, could be coming to the realization of. But this person is somebody here who tries to use like scare tactics and all that weird shit to, to get under your skin. But I feel like it may have worked a long time ago. But it don't work no more. But like I said, so far gone, that's, that um album by Drake could be a significance. Okay. But... If, you, if they can't have you, this person is literally willing to get somebody to kill you or harm you or take you out. This person is mentally insane. But I really, like, I really feel like you already know this person is mentally insane or has trauma issues or they're a karmic or whatever. I feel like you already know this. Yeah, considering you are the empress. You may already know this here, but I feel like Ten of Pentacles, either they have a lot of money here or maybe you have a lot of money with the devil card. Or there's something keeping you there, something that have kept you dealing with this person. Or they only fucking with you because the way you look, because you got money and somehow you're the only person who takes this person actually seriously here. The Four of Wands, enough to start something or live with them or build a foundation or even give them a chance. And this is something they know. But this is why they, they, they'll go to the extreme of doing that. But like I said, Page of Swords, congratulations, you have a new stalker. Well, congratulations, you have somebody here who's trying to get information on, on you or your lovers or who else you're dealing with here. I'm hearing Trey songs. Um, we can't be friends like that song by Trey songs. Like I said, three of cups and ten of cups. The person like, yeah, like this person don't even give a fuck if you have a third party. They may even get to the point of that where they're like, I don't care if you're dealing with whoever. Just show me attention or whatever. But I feel like ace of cups, the high priest, and a two of cups here. Heavy water sign energy. This person has the water works here. Their emotions are so fucking butt hurt. Like this person may even be suicidal. Okay, if they're willing on killing you, they may kill themselves afterwards. Like, yeah, but I feel like four cups of clarity is that you're not interested here. You don't want to deal with their bullshit, or you don't want to deal with them. Yeah, page of cups. I feel like you don't want their fake ass affection or little breadcrumbs or whatever they're trying to create for you to take. And I feel like with the five of cups, you're really hurting their feelings or they're crying over spilled milk. But I feel like they're getting karma as well too. Like this is the judgment. This is what it is. Or this is what's gonna happen. Yeah, hermit card. Yep, and they're gonna get an idea and they're gonna they're gonna get a clue, all right. They're gonna get a clue. Cause your wish is finna come true. I feel like eight of swords, you know. You may block this person here. You may need to block their number or something like that or get a restraining order or something. But all in all, it's either it's already happened, it's happening now, or it's going to happen. Yeah, but that's actually really sad. This person thought she was playing when you said that she was going to cut their ass off or leave them or don't fuck with them. Yeah, with the moon card not depending because they thought that she was going to um, take your time or you was never going to be successful. You was never going to do something. I'm hearing that song. Do it, do it, do it, do it. You know the world be watching. Do it, do it. So do it, do it, do it. And they go like, 
Bounce with it, drop with it, lean with it, rock with it, snap with it. All my ladies hit the something with, like, yeah. Three of Wands. person never thought that you were going to go towards your future, go towards your plans, or do whatever you did, whatever this is you're doing. Have this glow up here, look different, or, you know, have a financial increase here. Spiritually upgrade as well, if you are interested in the occult. Oh, Jesus. Child, this is the ghetto the get up but let's see what lesson they're actually learning here whoever this person is or that they're going to learn okay patience they're learning to develop quiet hope and um how do you say they're they're learning, they're learning to ref reflect period they're learning to reflect and be persistent and surrender overall to themselves or things that's unfolding in their life that they have no control over that's what they're going to have to learn they're learning now also fifth chakra all right your throat chakra this person is learning that you know um about their willpower and determination they have to express their feelings more or i feel like you know um they're learning that they need to set clear boundaries for their behavior or that you're doing this to them and they have to learn that you're not dealing with no bullshit yeah you only deal with you know uh encouraging uplifting thoughts or people this person's realizing that like i said you only want bliss and that's just period all right yeah and i feel like this person also um realizing that um you act out of um, unconditional love here and, and what unconditional love they're gonna have to learn what that is or they're realizing that this unconditional love is not just letting you do whatever just to say that i have somebody but it's, i forget, forgive all those ha who have done me wrong in the past as well as forgiving myself as i could not have acted in a um a more evolved way than i was at the time so this person when you know better you do better but this person is having to learn to do better here you may not want to talk to them again but they definitely learning that and it's going to be a harsh truth for the ass but this was the reading. I hope y'all did love it. And I will definitely see you all later. Bye.